Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. First, before we begin, I want to give you an update on the storms coming this week and how it will impact you on Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday might bring in as much as six inches of snow, very cold temperatures and extremely gusty winds, possibly gusting as high as 45 miles per hour. This storm will impact travel in a very hazardous way. Please only travel if you must, and if you must, please do so with extreme caution. Streets will be very icy and snow-packed, particularly during both Tuesday and Wednesday morning's commutes. Please be sure to stock up on the usual items, at least a three-day supply of food and water, medications, alternate heating sources, charged and maintained electronic devices, and postpone any appointments if possible until the storms have passed. Street maintenance crews are prepared for these storm events and will be on standby status or on duty as conditions in dictate. We will continue to post here twice daily with updates throughout these storms. We have three council meetings tomorrow, starting with an executive session at 10 a.m. In the executive sessions, council has the opportunities to receive legal advice and counsel from our attorneys on prospective and current matters that require confidential consideration. We do not take votes while in executive session, and any final decisions are made during public meetings. Tomorrow, we will be hearing from our attorneys about the sale and redevelopment of 201 South Cortez Street, the old city hall. A water contract with Mountain Club, a preservation easement with Prescott Creeks, ongoing topics regarding the airport vicinity overlay district, and an agreement with Emory Riddle about a property lease at the airport safe complex, which stands for the Strategic Academic Flight Education. During the study session, council will receive a presentation from PROTECT, Planning for Resilience of Our Town's Environment, Climate, and Tourism. Releasing the Climate Risk Assessment for Prescott, conducted with the Climate Assessment for the Southwest, also known as CLIMAS, and Dr. Allison Meadow with the University of Arizona. This climate assessment was done at no cost to the City of Prescott. Mayor Pro Tem Montoya and Council Member Rusing were contacted by the group regarding completion of the study and have requested a presentation at this study session. The Prescott Fire Department will present their 2023 through 2028 strategic plan. Their motto is community first, courage, grit, and duty, driven by excellence. In this strategic plan, issues addressed will include staffing and infrastructure, occupational safety, data collection and analysis, community growth, sustainable funding, resource viability, and workforce development. The study session starts at 1 p.m. During the 3 p.m. voting meeting, we will have an update regarding the Mayor's Charter Review Commission and also a legislative update. Council will vote on an amendment to the contract with Dibble for planning and environmental services for appraisals in the vicinity of the Prescott Regional Airport. At the beginning of the meeting, we will have a recognition presentation of outgoing city manager Michael Lamar. Michael has served the city well for the last six years and steered Prescott through some many challenging times, as well as introduced several innovations and advancements in our community. On a related note, the city of Prescott's recruitment for a new city manager is well underway right now. Anyone interested in this opportunity can email their cover letter and resume by March 6th to the address below. Preliminary interviews will take place March 14th through the 16th. The recommendation of candidates will be provided on March 21st, and the finalist interview process will take place March 30th through the 31st. The Prescott Tourism Office will be accepting applications for the Tourism Advisory Committee, TAC, and the Prescott Area Arts and Humanities Council, POC, Grants beginning Monday, March 6th through Monday, April 10th, 2023 at 5 p.m. TAC and POC grants are designed to assist registered nonprofit organizations hosting events in Prescott between July 1st, 2023 and June 30th, 2024. The goal of the grant is to encourage event marketing outside of the Prescott area 
to encourage overnight visitation. These grants are funded by the city's transient occupancy or bed tax. Events are eligible for up to $5,000 depending on their rating and how many organizations successfully apply. The grant is available only to registered nonprofit organizations. There will be a mandatory meeting for all applicants on Wednesday, March 8, 2023 at 3.30 p.m. at the Old City Hall Council Chamber, 201 South Cortez Street. Grant applications are due no later than Monday, April 10, 2023 at 5 p.m. The City Council Subcommittee on Appointments is seeking applications from citizens who are interested in serving on the Fire Board of Appeals. There are two vacancies for the term ending in March of 2025. You must be a Prescott resident to apply. New rates for solid waste pickup and the transfer station will be in effect beginning March 1, 2023. Please see the link below for further information. Next weekend, in observance of President's Day on Monday, February 20th, city offices in the Prescott Library will be closed, and some services will be affected. Solid waste services, including trash collection and the transfer station, will be operating. Our weekend update will take place on Tuesday, February 21st. I'm Prescott Mayor Phil Good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week.